What's up everybody, this is Alex Yu and you're watching another episode of All You Can Eat with Alex Yu and I'm here at Chronic Tacos and we're here with Steve right here. Say what's up to YouTube. What's up and <laughs> We are going to order burritos. Steve, I'd like to ask, what, what are we looking at here? Uh, we have so many different options. Well first of all, I'll give you the rundown of exactly how the menu works. Okay. We've got all our different kinds of proteins right here in yellow with the description in gray. Yeah. Okay? You can take any of those and throw in a burrito, a taco, a torta, nacho, quesadilla, or a tostada bowl. Okay. The bowls and the burritos have two choices of rice and three choices of beans. Yeah. Now, the carne asada, what that means basically is it's marinated grilled steak. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's right there. Yeah. Pollo asado is your marinated grilled chicken. There's yeah. Chicken off. Carnitas, one of my personal favorites, is our slow cooked pulled pork. El Pastor, very popular. Spicy marinated pork with pineapples and onions. Kind of got that sweet and spicy on it. Then we got our grilled fish, our battered fish, our yeah. grilled shrimp, or our battered shrimp. And our fajita is our pulled beef or our pulled chicken sauteed with pepper. Really, really good. Cool, cool. Uh, you want a burrito? I definitely want a burrito. I would like to get shrimp. Uh, you said there are options for the shrimp, yeah, right? Yeah, we can get you the grilled shrimp or okay. the battered shrimp. Okay, let's go with the um, grilled shrimp. Grilled, grilled shrimp. shrimp? Okay. I'm going to need one grilled shrimp burrito. Because we cook that fresh, it just does take a couple of seconds, okay. about a minute to cook that. Cool, cool. The choices don't stop there. You do have two choices of rice. Okay. Uh, Spanish rice and white lime rice. Okay. Spanish rice does have some chicken stock in it, so yeah. white lime rice is our vegetarian option if yeah. you're not into that. Okay. Then you got black beans, pinto beans, and refried beans, all being vegetarian. Let's go with the uh, Spanish rice. Let's go with Spanish rice. You got it. Okay. Tortilla nicely. Okay. You said the Spanish rice, correct? Yep. Okay. Right. Nice scoop of that. Right down the middle. What kind of beans would you like? Uh, let's get the. Do you say pinto beans? Pinto beans. Yeah. yeah. Let's get some of that. Yeah. Okay. You can have anything you want here, but for the seafood, we always do recommend it Baja style. Oh, really? Okay. Baja style is it's just a selection of a few ingredients. Okay. It's fresh lime. Yeah. Our house special Baja sauce. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. We got salsa and cabbage. It's really good, but again, you go with whatever you like. Okay. You know what? Let's go with the uh, let's go with the Baja. Let's it. do it. So it's fresh lime, Baja sauce. Yeah. Cheese on there. Um, I think that looks great actually. Yeah, let's do that. There you go, bud. Awesome. So I'm seated. Here's my food. I'm gonna chow down. We've got some chips and salsa here. And here's our burritos. It's got shrimp in it. And it's got like their Baja style of preparing it. This is really good, and let me explain why. First of all, I've never had shrimp in a burrito before. It's got the, the, the right toppings. You know, when you go to a Subway, a lot of people just like load everything on, right? Get their values worth. At Little Caesars Pizza, they had like this unlimited topping pizza where everybody just wanted to get their value by putting on every single topping. But when you bite into it, you don't know what you're eating. I think with the very specific combination that they put in with the burrito, they evaluated it to see what works. I'm pretty happy with this. A lot of flavor. I really like that they have a lot of options. And it's not just chicken or beef or veggie. So many different things. There's fish, there's shrimp. There was the option to add guacamole. I love guacamole, but I didn't want to add it because I didn't want to overpower the, the original taste of the Baja and the shrimp. There you go. Look at that shrimp right there, right there. We're not just talking about like some tiny piece of shrimp. Like this is a, a real piece of shrimp here. I say go for the shrimp burrito. Add shrimp to it. It's something different. Huge portions, great value. I'm gonna finish this all the way, no problem. And there's a look, look at this shrimp right there. Woo. Oh my god. You eat it, it gets replaced with another shrimp right there. It's like two pieces of shrimp right on top of each other. And I am done. And that was damn good. They put on this Baja sauce and it gave it a little bit of kick. I think that was a secret ingredient. That, the shrimp, and the combination of toppings, Spanish rice, and the pinto beans, and it is on. I suggest you try the combination when you come here. I'm gonna munch on some of these nachos. We got some fresh salsa here. And this is complete. Got my root beer, 
and what more can you ask for? Right. So we just finished our meal. I'm here with Steve. Before I knew about this place, the only places I can think of is Taco Bell and Taco Time. Yeah, that's all like pre-packaged, cookie cutter, kind of fast food stuff. Whereas ours is fast food per se, it yeah. comes fast. Yeah. But it's more from a fresh standpoint because we make everything fresh in house. Yeah. Talk, we make our pico de gallo every day. Mm -hmm. We make our guacamole every day. Beans and rice from scratch every single day. Yeah. Uh, all our meats are marinated and cooked numerous times throughout the day. Mm -hmm. As well as our roja, our verde, our baja sauce, yeah, yeah, yeah. our, you know, everything is made fresh. Cool, yeah. cool. You do a broadcast the fights and the games here as well? Yeah. For uh, for Canucks games, we would have, we will have all screens, all nine big screen yeah, yeah, yeah. TVs playing them with the sound on. Uh, for the UFC, we just did the last, uh, it was John Jones versus Machida yeah. on uh, Saturday. We had a really great turnout for that. And also, it's really place packed. place packed. Oh yeah. We wouldn't take reservations for the hockey game, so yeah. we'd start filling up at four o'clock. Really? And one night it was so packed. Everybody's having a blast. We had the wave going through the whole restaurant. Oh. <laughs> A lot of fun. A lot That's of fun. cool. Great place to watch a game. I think you got daily specials for tacos, right? Well, uh, for, for, for Mondays, for Mondays we have Monday Madness, which yeah. is uh, our burritos are six forty nine all day. And then for our tacos, it's uh, two seventy nine tacos on Tuesdays. Taco Tuesdays. So, Taco Tuesdays are crazy. Three fifty highballs. Three fifty highballs Wednesdays. For the rest of the week, we don't really have any food specials, but we do have drink specials every day. Mm, yeah. Okay. And Sundays, all of our drink specials are on specials. Nice. Well, I just want to make some comments about the food. First of all, I've never had shrimp on a, on a burrito before. Awesome though, right? But it, it's great. It's, yeah. it's, uh, I wanted to try it because, well, normally we have chicken or beef. Yeah. Or, or veggie, like which is yeah. nothing but beans and rice, right? Exactly. But but shrimp was definitely something I've never tried and it was a really nice touch. I think that you guys probably evaluated the type of to combination of toppings. Yeah. In That's <laughs> why we recommend the Baja style because yeah. it works really, really well with the fish. A lot of people come for the first time, obviously, yeah. They're gonna make it however they like. Yeah. But we do like to recommend certain things. Some people will tend to put, I'm gonna get every single thing that I can get yeah. on my burrito. But the more people come, the more people learn what goes well with each yeah. taco. Because each taco, depending on your palate, can be. You know, you, you can switch it up. You can have the burrito with uh, everything on it, or yeah. you can have it Baja style, or you can have it with minimal stuff on it. A lot of people come in here and just get salsa and cilantro on the taco. Yeah. That's really good. And that's well. all they really want, too. Yeah. 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 Cool. What is something that uh, you would recommend in terms of uh, building your own? One of my personal favorites is the carnitas taco. Because it's a pulled pork, and I'm a sucker for pork. Oh, pulled we, pork is good. so good. We <laughs> marinate it for 24 hours. Yeah. We slow cook it for yeah. three and a half, so yeah. it's really, really, really tender. Yeah. I actually get it Baja style. So the same oh, way yeah. they had the fish, with the yeah. fresh lime, the Baja sauce, yeah. the cheese, salsa, and cabbage. Yeah. I don't know why, but I just love it with the pork. I think it works really well. Cool, cool. The pulled pork torta sandwich, I think that's one of the most underrated things. People just don't really know what a torta is, but a yeah. torta is very much, uh, I call it like a Mexican sloppy joe. You get yeah. you get the bread, we toast it up nicely, uh, we smear one side with the refried beans, the other yeah. side with the guacamole. Yeah. You load it up with all your meat, whatever your choice you like. Mm -hmm. I get the pulled pork yeah. again, because I love pulled pork. Yeah, pulled pork is good. Um, and then you load it up with the toppings and it's this huge sandwich, super filling and delicious. Yeah. We get the, the bread baked locally, uh, fresh for us. It's yeah. really great stuff. Always a crowd pleaser. Definitely. So, the, and that's something that you just order straight up from your menu, you don't have to... Um... Yeah, if you if you came in, uh, any one of our guys or gals on hot, you ordered a uh, pulled pork carnitas taco and just said you want a Baja style, they all know what Baja style is, so they okay. uh, do it up perfect for you every time. Nice and simple. How many locations do you have? Our first location right here on Broadway in Yukon. Second one came on Fourth and Burrard. Yeah. A little smaller of a concept. Doesn't have a full bar, but they do have beers. We just got the liquor license proof for there. Yeah. So we do have a couple beers there if you want a beer with lunch. Yeah. And our third came uh, downtown Bramble Street, full bar, great location, right on the strip. Our fourth location just opened, uh, full table service down in Gastown, and I think we got Kelowna and New West coming within the next few weeks. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Flooding the city with tacos, as I like to say. Expansion is coming very quick. Yeah. Chronic tacos. Chronic ChronicTacos.com, I believe, and we <laughs> That concludes another episode of All You Can Eat with Alex Yu. Thank you, Steve, for your time. No problem. My pleasure. Stay tuned for our next episode. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter at Rage and Roner Pro, or like me on Facebook, Rage and Roner Productions. This is Alex Yu. Thank you for watching. Peace.